For countless years, people have used silver and gold as their primary currency. And over those years, some of it was lost, stashed, or otherwise taken and hidden from history. These are the stories of America's buried treasures in your neck of the woods. Today's treasure tale takes us to Wayne County, Mississippi for an old account of a treasure recovered. But did they get it all? I stumbled across an old newspaper account of a treasure recovered back in 1887. The Pascagoula Democratic Star published an article on April 15, 1887. The story reads as follows. Gold found near state line. It was related to me at Waynesboro this week that a considerable sum of money was recently unearthed near state line. The story goes that one Mr. Stewart has from some cause long indulged a belief that there was buried treasure somewhere in that vicinity and he has been hunting for it. A few days ago he was on the lands of Mr. Rogers and in the company with that gentleman when they came upon a little vault in a small hillside made of brick and mortar, which the washings of rain had exposed to view. They looked at it and talked about it, Mr. Rogers concluding and Mr. Stewart assessing that it was the grave of some infant entombed there in the long ago. They parted. But it seemed that a swift-winged suspicion had found a home in the minds of both that there was money in that vault. Mr. Rogers, acting upon his suspicion, returned the next day to examine the vault and found that it had been broken open. He stated that there was discernible in the bottom of the vault an impression that appeared to have been made by an iron pot about the size of half a bushel. His impression is that Mr. Stewart immediately returned and secured the prize. There were wagon tracks found, going to and returning from it, and some say Mr. Stewart was compelled to have his son help him load the wagon with an immense quantity of gold. Another statement to confirm all this is made that Stewart had no money before this occurrence, but that since that time he has been spending $20 gold pieces. If money was found, as stated, the inquiry is who buried it there. Some say members of the Copeland clan did. And there are others who remember that there was an old man with a miserly disposition about state line before the war by the name of Jas White in the employee of Dr. Borden. He was an expert brick mason, was known to have money, and no one ever knew what he did with it. He went into the army during the war, but returned when it was over. Then he went away, then returned again, but remained only a short time. At last he went and returned no more. It is supposed that he is dead, and this is his money, buried and vaulted by him while in the employee of Dr. Borden before the war. So, what do you think? Was this a cache made by Mr. White hidden long ago? Could it be the only one? Maybe Mr. White didn't carry all his eggs in one basket, if you know what I mean. But then again, who knows? The Copeland gang was in the area as well, although I don't see them taking the time to build a vault of brick and mortar. Either way, it begs the question, is there more? Who knows, with a little research and permission to dig if needed, might recover yet another cache in the area, or maybe even more. Might be worth looking into. I wish you the best. Good luck. Happy hunting. 
keep on digging it. Please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Hit that notification button to follow me on YouTube. Thanks for stopping in. Hope you enjoyed. Good luck. Happy hunting. Keep on digging. For even more to explore, check out these other videos.